Hello everyone, this is Akai and welcome back to some more World of Warships and today I'm actually showing off a new ship I got. Uh, this ship I actually got when I opened a container of the New Year's, no not Year's, Christmas. Christmas containers is where I actually got the ship. This is the Tier 6 Pan-Asian Cruiser, the Huanghe. And she's actually kind of not a bad ship. Uh, if played correctly, I think she's fairly powerful, uh, very capable of dealing even in a tier match such as we are. I am joined with Weez and the PEF, uh, and we're going to show off the ship. So starting off, the ship is probably very well known for to have the moving smoke. Uh, she lets out a smoke screen that lasts, I believe, about a minute. I don't think I can check it right here. No, I cannot. Uh, lets out a smoke screen that lasts for about a minute and some seconds. But the actual smoke screen only lasts for about 10 seconds. So it's you're able to move with it and redeploy. So it's very strong. So if you need to go to a new position, you can actually um, speed up, get to a new position, slow down, and you still have that smoke screen available to you. Now the cooldown on the smoke screen is kind of long. Uh, that's the only downside of it is once that smoke screen is not available, you're really going to be hard pressed to actually um, do a lot, especially in a tier uh, 8 battle such as I am. Now the detect on the ship is actually fairly nice. It's 8.1 for a tier six cruiser, uh, very stealthy. The range isn't particularly amazing, 13.2 kilometer range. Uh, the shell, or better yet, the guns reload every five seconds, I believe. Actually, yes, I believe it's about every five seconds. Unfortunately, the replay doesn't allow me to look at the entirety of the ship. Health isn't particularly amazing, 24,100, that's one of the lowest health pools. Uh, so it's a very fragile ship, which, once again, it's kind of obvious considering um, it does have this smoke screen. And the smoke screen does last for a minute and 30 seconds. Uh, but as you can see on my timer, the uh, puff of smoke is going to go down in 10 seconds. There it goes, it redeploys. So something you just got to keep in mind whenever playing this ship and the reload on the guns is actually around uh, seven seconds so not particularly amazing but uh, that's actually not bad for a tier six cruiser uh, the velocity on the shells is fairly decent you do have three double uh turrets uh so you do have six shells each i would recommend getting ifhe if you do have the captain skills because these are 152 millimeter uh caliber shells so it will prove beneficial because you're going to be firing a lot of HE in the ship. But the fire chance on the Huangha is actually pretty decent. Uh, I will actually be getting a lot of fires on this, uh, especially this Turpitz, who instant repairs a fire and is pushing in against two destroyers. He's well aware there are destroyers there. But keep in mind, he did actually uh, damn calm that single fire. So if he does take a Torp, he is going to flood. So, as you can see, this is kind of the gimmick of the Huangha is that fact that you can actually deploy your smoke screen and move around. So you're not so much as a sitting duck. She does have Hydro. The Hydro is the very standard Hydro. It's not particularly amazing. It's only four kilometers. So you do have to be careful on that factor uh, whenever playing the ship because you can get surprised, so I would recommend getting the propulsion mo uh, module on this just so you're able to pick up speed fairly quickly. Now she does actually have torpedoes. Uh, they are 8 kilometer range torpedoes. You don't get a lot of them. You only get 3 triple, or sorry, 1 triple. Uh, they have a decent reload time of a minute and 15, which isn't too terribly bad. That's actually fairly decent. But for the most part, uh, this is going to be the main factor. Now, in regards to the battle, we managed to get two ships sunk, but we have lost two of our destroyers and a cruiser, and the enemy team has both A and C. So things aren't looking particularly amazing at this moment. And there is that North Carolina as well as, I believe it's a Shiratsuyu on the western side. And for 
well, right now it's not looking particularly amazing. They are starting to push down on the western side, at least better yet, the North Carolina. Now, here is once again the kind of the issue with the Huangha is you're waiting for actually a decent amount of time just for your smoke screen to reload. So we're kind of at the mercy of any destroyers that detect us. And since we're detected, might as well go ahead and open up and do a little bit of damage. And I will have to say this, this battle is going to be predominantly over on this western side. We're going to actually spend almost all our time here. Do get a fire on that North Carolina. Uh, so he should hopefully burn for a little while. I uh, shouldn't damn calm that single fire. If he does, that's not particularly a great idea. But at the exact same time, this North Carolina makes some very interesting choices. Now, he does ha actually have quite a few ships he could shoot at. He can shoot at the Bismarck. He can shoot at the other Bismarck that's actually currently right in front of us. And the New Mexico. And then obviously us as well. Now, we are being targeted by someone. And it's actually surprisingly... Not the North Carolina. The North Carolina is actually currently not focusing on us. But there is, once again, evidence of the Shiratsu being a downright pester. And this is kind of the main issue right now is that Shiratsu is going to be around for a while. If he's smart, he's not going to be detected. So, as far as its maneuverability, she's fairly nimble in the water water she has a very good rudder shift time she has a decent turning circle radius she's not particularly fast uh getting up to around 33 knots i believe uh even with the speed flag on her uh, so not particularly amazing as far as getting around places uh, very similar to a lot of usn cruisers uh, that you probably are familiar with. Now we do have a smoke screen that is up and ready. And she does actually have a decent uh, smoke firing pill. So yeah, I believe it's only about five kilometers, I believe. And now that we're kind of in a decent position, we can actually begin and firing at the North Carolina. And of course, uh, the North Carolina goes silent and is no longer being spotted. Which is not good because obviously we can't really do much. But once again, this is the Huang He, and it can actually move to a new position, spot, and lay down a smoke screen. And there is once again the Shiratsu being a downright pester at the moment. Now, our team is actually managing to come back a bit. We do manage to take out another ship, and we do manage to capture C. But the enemy team is trying their very best. Uh, to kind of negate that sea cap they are currently capturing sea and there you go that's kind of the one of major benefit is you can s pop out of your smoke screen real quick spot the ship it will redeploy the smoke screen North Carolina has fired and is going to be detected for the next 20 seconds he is doing his very best he's actually reversing he's not pushing uh, which once again I don't know why I think he's concerned of getting crossfired maybe from the Bismarck to the south but this does allow us to kind of continue pushing now our smoke screen is actually about to go down we're on our last puff of smoke right about now so this is our last puff of smoke for the next two minutes and 32 seconds and yes once again that's kind of the major issue with this is it's just such a long time between smoke screens that if you're caught out such as I am it's very dangerous and there's the enemy Shiratsu so you've instantly detected going to go ahead and focus on it and surprisingly we have not actually got hit by the North Carolina unfortunately we don't get the hit on the Shiratsu so either now, one uh, uh, really interesting is actually the secondaries on this ship. She actually has very large secondaries uh, for her ship type, but they're only 5.3 kilometers, so they're not particularly amazing. And once again, North Carolina not focusing on me. Instead, is focusing on the Tier 6 battleship, the New Mexico, and managed to dodge all those salvos of torpedoes. And we're actually currently at a potential damage of 416,000 uh, obviously uh, nearly 200 times more than what our current uh, health is 
Actually, no, sorry. 20 times more. 200 times, that's that's way too much. Uh, but got another fire. And this is kind of the benefit of the Huangha is the fact that you can get these fires and just burn down this North Carolina. I know this isn't particularly amazing, but keep in mind, this is a tier six cruiser getting away pretty much with murder right here. Just focusing on this North Carolina, getting another fire. Chirotsu is not really doing much towards us. Uh, he is spotting us. I think he is actually uh, aiming at us, but yeah, once again, not really doing much. It does look like the North Carolina does pop his damage comm and uh, looks like he might actually turn his guns towards us. Now keep in mind, I'm actually only nine kilometers away from this North Carolina. North Carolina opens up. Here comes those torpedoes and missed. Let's see if we can dodge both uh, the guns. And we actually, I believe, Rick, uh, broke a shell from the North Carolina. Actually took no damage from that hit there. Managed to dodge those torpedoes with little issue. Did manage to at least spot them, which was actually super nice. Get another fire on this North Carolina. And I'm, I'm just really surprised that this North Carolina has yet to actually hit us. And yet, we've actually taken no damage. Actually, get look, another fire. Two fires on that North Carolina. North Carolina is not looking at us at all. Allowing us just to do pretty much all we want. Now, we are doing a lot of damage to that North Carolina uh, as far as our alpha is concerned, uh, most of our damage is actually coming from those fires. Now this entire time, uh, I've been essentially stuck on the side. Our team has actually managed to pull ahead. Uh, we have several ships ahead of the enemy team. Uh, the enemy Huang he, is currently dead. And now the North Carolina is essentially running from a tier six cruiser. Does go undetected, does damage calm and holds his fire so we're gonna try to push in against him see if we can get a little bit lucky we do pop our hydro because once again there is a shiratsuyu that's been skulking around somewhere he has actually had the best of luck as far as actually landing torpedo heads now we aren't being detected which is interesting that does mean that he is currently uh, obviously well outside the 8.1 detect north carolina is once again spotted open up and let's see if we can get a little bit lucky with a uh, fire that would be super nice this North Carolina is so incredibly low on health fires are pretty much going to be your bread and butter in the ship so I would recommend try to uh, beef up your fire chance as much as possible get another fire look at it's just ridiculous another fire on the North Carolina there's a Shiratsuyu uh, looks like he actually moved north which is interesting and those torpedoes are going to uh, be dodged fairly easily and definitely building up the potential damage right now this North Carolina has got to hate me we've done essentially the majority of our damage against this North Carolina and he's yet to actually officially do any damage to us look at this 1700 it looks like he's actually starting to heal being aggressive we're gonna actually start pushing towards him uh, because, well, once again, North Carolina really hasn't done much towards us. We have still all of our health, which could instantly go bye-bye uh, if he does get a few citadels on us. But, once again, not that much. And there we go, another fire. He is going to burn for a little while. I believe he did use his damage card um, not too long ago. So, he should have a little bit... Uh, definitely more fire damage uh, coming. This might be the end for him, actually. And it's, it's it's just absolutely ridiculous how much we've taken off of this North Carolina Tier 8 battleship in a Tier 6 cruiser. And I actually haven't used one of my smoke screens in a while. And this is the really nice thing, is just look how nimble the ship is. Able to dodge those shots, and there we go. Earned Arsonist, our very first skill of the game. And unfortunately for the enemy team, there's not really much they can do because, well, they're currently almost down all the way. And there's the enemy Shiratsu, finally spotted once again. We're going to focus on him, but he is actually going to go down relatively quickly. And that is going to be actually the end of that battle. So 
So not a bad battle. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Sai Jen.